Britain's transport network is under pressure. More journeys, more passengers. Worn, congested, old infrastructure pushed to its limit. Sometimes it struggles to cope and as the climate changes, the stresses on the infrastructure will increase. For example, this clay embankment in Hampshire slipped away following prolonged rain. The line was closed for weeks. Our railway was built by the Victorians, using whatever they had to hand. How will it cope with hotter, drier summers and more intense periods of heavy rainfall? Highways face similar challenges. Greater demands are being made of flood and coastal defences. The government is investing heavily in transport infrastructure. How will new designs suit changing conditions and still provide good value? To answer questions like this, a new National Infrastructure Laboratory will be built here at the University of Southampton. National infrastructure is about the infrastructure that connects and makes a nation. Roads, railways, power lines, that sort of thing. We will be testing components of those things in a way that enables us to find out how they behave so that we can design them better. The new centre will cost £36 million. The aim? To deliver higher value, lower cost, reliable and safe transport for people and freight. It's a consortium of universities from across the UK, so there'll be researchers from the UK and from beyond, but also our students at all levels, because training the next generation of highly qualified people is a key aspect of what it is we're trying to do. Here's what the National Infrastructure Laboratory will look like. A geomechanics centre will enable full-scale testing of the latest research. The focus will largely be on railways. The building will be finished in August 2018. Then there'll be a period of time when the building will be commissioned and the advanced testing and hydraulic apparatus will be in place, ready for testing about nine months after the handover. The University of Southampton is a world leader in researching the relationship between engineering and the environment. Climate change will fundamentally influence the way we design, operate and maintain the transport infrastructure which underpins the national economy. It is already happening. Railway embankments collapse. Sea walls crumble. Bridges wash away. It will lead to infrastructure that will be more robust, more reliable, more resilient to climate change and also it will be cheaper to deliver and construct. The National Infrastructure Laboratory is part of UCRIC, that's the UK Collaboratorium for Research in Infrastructure and Cities. Fourteen leading academic institutions have combined. Using open data and sharing facilities, these are the top infrastructure, civil and construction engineering research groups in the UK. The vision? To make the system of many different systems that forms the nation's infrastructure more resilient to extreme events, more adaptable to changing circumstances. That should make services more affordable, more accessible and more usable for everyone. We will have infrastructure which is more reliable, more available and cheaper to maintain. So the bottom line for users is going to be less disruption and cheaper fares. The need is urgent. Recent events have shown that. At the new National Infrastructure Laboratory in Southampton, work has already started. The aim? To improve the way we all travel.